vegetables, bakers. So in a recent video, I made crazy dough. Now crazy dough is one bread dough that you can make lots of different breads from, like a savory pizza or a sweet Nutella loaf. Well, that series was a huge success. So I thought to myself, why can't I take that same technique and apply it to a cookie dough? I asked you guys on social media what flavors of cookies you wanted to see me make and the results were amazing. So let's get baking. So before we get started, the recipe for this crazy cookie dough can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. And as always, don't forget to tap that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Okay, let's talk cookie dough. Into a nice large bowl, we're going to add in some melted butter, white sugar, brown sugar, eggs, and vanilla extract. And then mix all these ingredients together. So now if you don't eat eggs, do not worry, you can still make this cookie. You can just replace it with a flax egg or condensed milk and all that information is going to be on my website as well. Okay, great. I really love this cookie dough because it's that gooey, squishy kind of cookie that you get in the middle. And that's what the melted butter and the brown sugar are going to do, give a caramel gooey center. I love it. That's my absolute favorite cookie dough. Okay, so I'm just going to set this aside and then we're going to mix together our dry ingredients. So in a separate bowl, we're going to add in our flour salt and bicarbonate of soda or baking soda and then just mix all these ingredients together. So here's an important note about adding in raising agents like baking soda or baking powder. Make sure that you level off the teaspoon so that it's not lumpy. You get just an exact teaspoon and then also less is more. Adding in more is not going to make your cookie rise better or anything like that. So less is more when it comes to raising agents. Okay, lovely. These are all mixed up. Now I'm going to bring back in my wet ingredients and then add our dry ingredients in there and then simply mix all together. Okay, that's it. This is our cookie dough that we're going to add amazing flavors to. Now, this is a soft cookie dough, as you can see. So you're going to want to pop this into the fridge for a minimum of two hours and let it get nice and cold. Best of all, this can be kept in your fridge for up to seven days and it even freezes really well. So you can have cookies whenever you want them. So here is my cookie dough. It's been in the fridge for a few hours now, so it's really nice and cold, so it's perfect to be baked off. Now here is a scoop. It's a quarter cup measurement. And all we're going to do is scoop our cookie dough, get a quarter cup. You can do it kind of level. This is gonna be a big cookie. And this is the size of each cookie. Now roughly, if you don't have a cup and you're weighing them, they're around two and a half to three ounces in weight. So keep on scooping all your cookie dough until it's portioned. And you'll notice it will make around 10 to 12 cookies. Nice big cookies, my kind of cookies. Keep going until it's all gone. Okay, so those are our cookies, they're looking great. Now, this is for the really fun part. Over here, I have my cookie bar. I went through my cupboards, I ransacked the place and I got every flavor, mixin', fixin' you could possibly think of. And we are going to add all of these into our cookies. So if you haven't figured out yet why I'm calling this crazy cookie dough, you're about to find out. We are going to make our first cookie, which is my personal favorite, a plain classic chocolate chip cookie. So into my cookie dough here, I have a nice big tablespoon of chopped chocolate, nice rich chocolate. I am just going to put that on top of my cookie dough, mix it in really well. Lovely, getting chocolate everywhere. I like my cookies really chocolatey. And there you go, there is an instant chocolate chip cookie. So this is my favorite cookie, but this is where we're gonna get really crazy and start to come up with really fantastic flavors. So Kevin, what is your favorite flavor of cookie? Uh, I'd say a peanut butter cookie. Okay, great, because I have peanut butter, so. I have some peanut butter here, so take a nice big tablespoon of peanut butter, put it into the center of your dough, Kevin, okay, I actually have peanuts here too. Do you want some peanuts in it? Uh, make it chunky. Chunky, chunky monkey. Okay, chunky peanut butter. So in with your peanut butter and then just mix it all together. And there you have for yourself a soft and gooey, salty but sweet peanut butter cookie. Fantastic, good choice, Kevin. Thanks. So we may as well get the whole crew. So Olivia, what is your favorite cookie? Chocolate and hazelnut. Oh, great. Um, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna put some Nutella in it. So take a tablespoon of Nutella Look at that, yummy. Put it straight into your cookie dough. And then I actually have, by chance as well, some chopped hazelnuts, some toasted ones. So I'm gonna put them in there too. And then just gently swirl it all together. Good choice, Olivia, I love chocolate and hazelnut. Okay, Ira, you're up next. What kind of cookie would you like? Mm, how about s'mores? S'mores, okay, uh, great. We have marshmallow over here. Some marshmallows and some chalk chocolate from our other cookie. And then I have some crushed up graham crackers. Nice big chunky bits. In you go. So that's pretty much all the makings of a s'more, right? And then just fold them in all together. Lovely. Getting pretty creative here with these cookies. <laughs> that was a good one, Ira. 
S'mores is a really good choice because it's a little bit outside the box, but you can still just take the exact same components in the dessert and put it into a cookie. So good thinking. There you go, another cookie done. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got a big bowl of sprinkles here and I have to use those because I love sprinkles on bigger boulder baking. So I'm gonna take two teaspoons of sprinkles onto my cookie, lovely. And then birthday cake often has white chocolate in it. So I'm gonna put big heaping teaspoon of chocolate chips, maybe even two teaspoons actually. In you go. And then fold them on in there, yum. Anything birthday cake, I'm all about. Great, I know I'm gonna love that one. So I'm sure now at this point you're getting the gist of like making your own cookie flavors. You can put in whatever you have to hand here. Your cookies will absolutely love it. Okay, now the next flavor we're going to do is something a little bit more complex, but still probably one of my top favorite cookies. It is a double chocolate cookie. So over here I have some nice dark cocoa powder. So I'm going to add in two teaspoons of that. And then of course, we're gonna add a big teaspoon of chocolate chips. In you go and then just mix these together really well. For those of you who haven't had it, this cookie ends up almost being like a brownie. It is really rich and dark and decadent. <gasps> One of my faves. So if you've ever been to a Cold Stone Creamery, they make ice cream in front of you. They scoop the ice cream, then you put in all of your flavors. That's kind of like what this is, but for cookies. Okay, fantastic. Another cookie done. So I've got six amazing cookie flavors already done. I've got two more left to do, but I'm gonna need some help, so stay tuned. So I am live on Instagram right now, Gemma underscore Stafford, and I am asking you for your favorite cookie flavors and I'm gonna try and make them. So here you go, Kevin. Let me know what they come up with. So now I've got these last two that I want you to help me pick the flavor of. Mini 16 wants to see salted caramel. Okay, cool. What do you guys think about that? Because I have caramels. Salted caramel. That's very, that was good because I have salted caramels. Okay, let's see, uh, see what you do. So here I have a bowl of chopped up caramels. I'm gonna get a nice big teaspoon of those. I'm gonna pop that right onto my cookie dough. Lovely. And then she said salted, right Kevin? Yeah, salted. Caramel. So I have a little bit of sea salt here. Oh, Nicole's asking for salted caramel as well. Okay, Nicole, got you covered. Salt and caramel is such a good flavor combination. And then like, just like our other cookies, all you want to do is just fold it in like this. And then you're gonna have lovely melty caramel once this bakes. You're gonna have big chunks of caramel, chunks of salt. Oh, it's gonna be yummy. Fantastic. Okay, so that's one. Salted caramel, great choice. I like it. It's gonna balance out well with all the rest of our other flavors. So what's our last cookie flavor? Okay, what about, um, I, I've seen like some combinations of, like oatmeal. Yeah, okay. Like, uh, what, what um, one of my favorites actually is oatmeal and raisin. Do you want oatmeal what and raisin? What do you guys think about that? Oatmeal, oatmeal and raisin, raisin cookie? We're getting it's, an old, it's an oldie but a goodie, right? We're getting some hearts um, You can't beat a classic uh, oatmeal raisin cookie. So here I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of oats. Uh, IMC is asking for chewy oatmeal, so that's... Uh, that's what this is gonna be. Yeah. Nice, these are really lovely, chewy, gooey cookies. They're the best. Folks uh, are asking for um, you know, raisins, cinnamon. They're also saying like, maybe they don't like raisins. You don't like raisins, leave them out. If you want to add some cinnamon in there, just go ahead and dust a little bit in and then just mix it all in really well together. This is a classic. You have to have an oatmeal and raisin cookie, don't you? We've got a great combination here of chocolate, nuts, marshmallow, white chocolate, sprinkles, of course, because you have to have sprinkles. You can't have an episode of Bigger Boulder Baking without sprinkles. Um, raisins, oatmeal, salted caramel. I think we've got all our bases covered. This dough is really, really fun. Just like my crazy bread dough, one dough, endless cookie possibilities. So I think we have a really good variety of different flavors and types of cookies. So now it's time to just pick them up and put them onto our baking tray lined with parchment paper. Now only put a few cookies per tray and spread them out because they will spread quite widely when they're baked. Bake your cookies off at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 185 degrees Celsius for only 10 to 12 minutes. You don't want to over bake them so they stay nice and soft and gooey in the center. And those are your cookies. Look how fantastic they look. They're absolutely huge. So come here, check this out. I want you to see exactly how you're supposed to cook one of these cookies. You see here how it looks all gooey and soft in the middle, but the outside has a little bit more of a darker brown color. This is what we want. That means it's really soft and gooey in the middle and a little bit crispy on the outside. So when I say 10 to 12 minutes, just 10 to 12 minutes, and you will end up with a perfect cookie just like these ones. So once your cookies have cooled down and firmed up, you can move them off the tray. 
So now if you came up with a cookie flavor that I didn't make here today, let me know what it is in the comments below and maybe I can make it in a future crazy cookie dough video. So now because my favorite is just a classic chocolate chip cookie and I did make this one for myself, I'm just gonna break this open and show you what it's like on the inside. So there you go, that's what I was hoping for. So this is why we cook the cookies at a higher temperature for less time, because you get that lovely soft, squishy middle. Oh my gosh. So this is crazy cookie dough, not just because you can make like a million different flavors, but it is possibly the best cookie I have ever tasted. And I think you will agree with me. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is so good. This is just plain chocolate. Imagine what the rest of them taste like. Oh man, I'm gonna try a salted caramel one next. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And I'll see you back here really soon for more Bigger, Bolder baking. Thank you, bye-bye, thanks for your help.